And what's up everybody, it is Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome to another edition of Track Walk in MX Simulator. And today we're looking at the 2016 Dirt Bike Track. Yes, that is the name of this track by Ryan Mahan. And this is episode 94, so getting up there in the episodes. And uh, those of you that have no idea about Ryan Mahan, he is uh, one of the better MX Simulator players of present day. And he made two of the Nationals this year. Could be wrong on that. I know he made Hangtown, or at least had a massive helping hand with the displacement if he didn't make all of it. Um, and then I want to say it's like Thunder Valley or something along those lines that he also made. But before all that, he had released this track, which uh, is pretty fun. He's released quite a few tracks, actually. He's released like things like the Splitfire Compound, uh, a WW Ranch replica. Um, Trying to think of other releases. There's a, uh, a track called Dirt Bike Track. <clears throat> I think he released in 2014, so this is like the 2016 version of that track. And uh, yeah, I think think that's it. I'm trying to think. Might be it. Anyway, he's released a decent amount of tracks. And uh, he's a pretty good track builder, I would say. He makes a lot of really fun tracks. And Hangtown was one of the more well-liked tracks of the season. And I'd assume that that's because it's got a pretty good fun factor. It wasn't too crazy rough or anything like that. And uh, uh, this track, the dirt bike track that he made, is just huge booters and big jumps and stuff like that that you can do. And so obviously... It's going to be one of the more fun tracks to play, as a lot of people in this game uh, like to play uh, a track called Race Tech Compound, which I've already stated I probably won't do a review on, just because it has no affiliation with the company Race Tech, and since Race Tech is an official sponsor of SYS, we just don't want to uh, intrude. Um, but that track in itself has a lot of like big crazy jumps on it, and personally I don't think it's the best track for big crazy awesome things I think something like this is a little bit better because it's at least got some realism mixed in and so you can actually have like a race on it and it actually would feel like a race but it's got all these cool big kicker jumps and stuff on it but I'm just comparing it to the race set compound because I feel like it's got that similar feel where there are a lot of big jumps where you can do the big whips and you can do the back flips and the front flips and find big transfers I guess if that's your your thing and all this crazy stuff so that would be my comparison if I could pick out a track that most people uh, know is that this track is like that and I'm really really mad right now that I can't seem to ride in a straight line or whip or anything like that I'm a little bit mad because I already had this video fucking recorded and rendered out to upload and then I erased it because I've been making 25 odd videos or something to be up on the channel so when I'm gone on my long road trip which I'm already on uh, as I speak or not as I speak but I mean as you are listening to me speak right now I'm on it uh, I won't have to do anything other than just make sure they're released and yeah so doing this again I'm only gonna do four laps too because I really need to get more stuff done and uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a shorter version, but the track, unlike uh, the Nationals, is readily available to download for you right now. So you don't have to wait. You can go play it just like me right now if you have MX Simulator, of course. Just download it, put it in your personal folder, rip it up. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just big jumps and a lot of floaters and stuff like that. It's a, it's a cool track. Uh, Mayhan's a good... Good builder, one of the better builders, I would say, excuse me, in the community these days. At some point, <clears throat> we're uh, we're working on a top 10 series uh, that we're going to start doing on our channel because people love rundown videos of when we, not when we, but when other channels explain the top 10 whatevers. So we're going to do that ourselves with a little bit of flair, SYS flair, and I think at some point we'll probably do like the top 10 MX Simulator track creators of all time, uh, just because there's been, I would say, if not a thousand close to it, 
uh, of different people that have released tracks. And I'd say that at least half of those people that have released tracks have released a second track or more at some point. So um, I think it'd be really cool to go through and organize all that and uh, find out who the community believes to be the best track creator of all time. But regardless, I think of current day of the people that are around, Mayhan is one of the better ones. And I did that in the <laughs> that line that I just did. I did that in the other video, which is why I'm not super shocked by it. But that was the cleanest I've ever done it, where like I only tapped the rear tire because the other times I was I was tapping both tires. And that actual instance of me tapping that wall jump reminds me of when Scott McCracken, aka Mitox, for any of you YouTube MX Simulator warriors out there that might remember that name back in the day, um, at the indie. In, I think in the 2012 uh, Supercross and MX Simulator, there is a like little roller and then a wall double back onto the start straight. And McCracken in the main event was jumping up onto that wall and then like front flipping with his rear tire off of it. And it was way faster than what everybody else was doing, but it was also way less consistent. Oh, oh I almost rode out of that. Yeah, it was way less consistent. Like he crashed nine times out of ten that I think he tried it, but he tried it almost every lap in the main event. It was pretty fun to watch. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that is when Sween and Wheels were live streaming and I was doing the radio show with Joe Soller on MX Sim Pits, so we'd radio broadcast the race as well. Sween and Wheels, Sween and Wheels, would be actually live streaming it. I could be wrong, maybe Joe and I did only Nationals that year? of the radio broadcast. Shows you how much MX Simulator is kind of detracted. It used to be everybody and their mother wanted to show up and watch the pro races. And while that's still the case, sometimes um, people will show up and watch the pro races. Way too many people I feel like are getting engulfed in these uh, elimination races that while they're fun in some cases, I think there's just too many of them at this point. I used to do a lot of those elimination races that appear on the forums. But they're fucking every night now, and two or three different people are running them all the time. Um, I think whoever's doing the elimination series or whatever, like that stuff is pretty cool because then you get people to actively come, you know, week in and week out. But it, it does bother me a little bit. Not, not, I mean, part of me because, yes, we lose viewers because this happens, but it, it's kind of stupid to me that the. The sim community avoids the pro races and the amateur races for that matter. Uh, and I guess that's like part of them boycotting it probably because it's a pay for system now. But like why would you host a race on the same night RF is ever in this game? Like that does that makes no sense to me. You get some people to show up, but you could have all of the RF guys show up and race those elimination races and have massively full gates you could probably even split classes and run multiple classes in an elimination race if you were just not do it the same night as RF races or EMF races for that matter because they're just the two biggest series in the game so you're gonna have the most people showing up to RF and EMF always so why wouldn't you wait for a time when those people could also attend your races I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me pet peeve of mine in MX simulator I'm just voicing my opinion you could agree to disagree But um, my point about that was that MX Simulator, uh, the pro races used to be such a big deal that we could have a full-fledged live stream broadcast, which myself and Jeremy do for everybody now on Start Your Systems TV on Twitch, where we do a, a live stream, we get uh, people in the chat for pre-race and stuff like that, and try to get people involved. Um, and then on the side of that, back in 2012, myself and, and Joe Soller, we would do a radio broadcast. So imagine, if you will, take yourself back to like 2006, 2007, um, when Jim Hawley and uh, what's his name used to do a live radio broadcast over the internet. Even if the race was live on TV, they'd still do the live radio broadcast. Like think of all the, my dad is just a perfect example of this, but I, I know a lot of people that are like this, that uh, they like, racing but sometimes they don't really care to watch it on TV sometimes I 
can't stand to watch it on TV because I can't stand to listen to Ralph Shaheen and Jeff Emig babble. Um, they're both great guys, I'm sure, but a lot of times they have no fucking clue what they're talking about. It's a little annoying. But regardless, my point is, is that um, if you know you're like working on your dirt bike and you have like a long night ahead of you or something like that, and you're in the garage, you still maybe want to listen to the race, so you turn on the radio broadcast. I think that's cool. Uh, you know, it's just like in Major League Baseball, in NFL, in the NBA, in the NHL, in golf for that matter, that there's a radio broadcast that's simulcast to the live stream broadcast. And in Sim, we had that for a while. We actually had a radio broadcast um, that you could listen to and tune in and just listen to us talk about the race, talk about things. And it was, I thought it was interesting. I mean, obviously I was a part of it for some times, but um, I think Joe did it great when he ran it. And now we have people that don't even care enough to watch the pro races for that matter, which is still the pinnacle of this game and the racing that's involved with it and probably the thing that's kept it around for as long as it's been around. But there's people that go out of their way to schedule races at the same time to take away from the value of the professional MX Simulator Racing Championship. I don't know. It's just, again, I'm, I'm not an amateur, so I can't say that, you know, Oh, I, you know, I really want to just watch the pros ride, but I, there's people on our broadcast every week that are like, how are more people not watching this? This, like, it, in honesty, I think watching a pro broadcast could teach you a lot about how to play the game just because you simply get to see what the fast guys are doing, see the lines that they're taking, see how they attack sections and how they don't attack sections. So, again, I'm just kind of rambling, but my point about it is that it sucks that the community has gone backwards in a growth standpoint where they are are self-centered enough to want to do races over the professional races that are going on like yes i know irl on saturdays during the real nationals rem is running stuff at glen helen etc they're doing this they're doing that and whatever um but that's because if you're watching a race in unadilla new york and you can't you know, get all the way across the country from Glen Helen, you're gonna go maybe race Saturday motocross at REM. And that's fine, IRL, but like anybody could w join the server to watch the Pro Nationals, and anybody could watch our broadcast of it too. And if you wanna just play Sim, that's fine. I'm just saying it seems silly and counterintuitive, counterintuitive to me that like the pinnacle of this game seems to no longer be watching and paying attention to RF races and getting to know people through that, which is what I did when I started playing the game. I got into the game because of the professional racing. I started talking to people that were professional racers, and if I didn't do that, guaranteed I wouldn't be even close to as fast as I am now because they all taught me things that uh, only the pros in this game could teach you, I think, and that's what part of me just tried to do with some of these videos on YouTube. But again, it's just like a learned process, and so for a growth standpoint, I think it's silly to have all these races and people ignoring the pro stuff, when in reality, that's the stuff that's growing the game the most, in my opinion. But anyway, that's going to complete the four laps here on 2016 Dirt Bike Track by Ryan Mahan. Uh, hit the uh, track download in the description below if you want to download and play this track with your friends. Um, like this video if you did like it if you didn't that's fine um, there's a dislike button for that if you really hated it but uh, you know we try to make good quality content so at least we hope you like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit us up with your comments questions or concerns and we'll be happy to get back to you as soon as we possibly can thank you guys for watching track walk episode number 94 in MX simulator on the 2013 2016 <laughs> dirt bike track by Ryan Mahan